It's gonna be May stuck in my head. It's gonna be May. Hey, it's Vicki, and today I'm here to talk about my reading plans for May. May is slated to be a little bit of a busy month for me. Um, it always is. May and June are always like busy times for me. So I'm gonna do my best uh, to read as much as I can, but I'm also going to forgive myself if it just gets put on the back burner because May and June are crazy. So I have a little stack here planned. Let's dive in. So first I have a couple of carryovers from April. I had all these intentions to read more in April and it just didn't happen because life happened. And even though I had a little bit of a break from school, um, other things came up that uh, were important and took time away from reading. So I have three books that I am currently finishing up that I had started in April. And the first one is Boy Swallows Universe by Trent Dalton. I'm about halfway through this one um, and I'm enjoying it. It's pretty good. It's about um, a young boy who lives in Australia and his family life is a little bit different. <laughs> Um, his parent, his mom and his stepdad um, are drug dealers. Something happens with his parents and he has this grand idea to do something about it. So um, it's got good coming of age elements, interesting writing, um, interesting characters. Yeah, it's, it's a good one. I'm enjoying it. Um, the other one I'm working on finishing up is The Forgotten Garden by Kate Morton. This one I'm only about 100 pages in. <laughs> uh, so... I was hoping to finish this in April because it's for the buzzword reading challenge for April, but it's going to be done in May. Um, and this one also is going well. It is about a little girl who um, is on a boat from England to Australia and she gets kind of like left behind. And so she's taken in by uh, the... I don't know if he's like the captain or something of the boat. <laughs> and uh, the story kind of goes back and forth in time from her to her granddaughter in the present day. And her granddaughter's trying to figure out what happened to her grandmother, how she ended up on that boat, who, were, who was her family, all that sort of thing. So it has like a mystery vibe. It has historical fiction vibes. It's Kate Morton. It's always enjoyable and I'm having a good time with it. And then the last one, I was really hoping I was going to finish it before the end of April, but I still have a little over 100 pages left, so it's just it's just not going to happen because um, I would have to finish the book. Well, I would have had to finish the book yesterday, technically, and it just didn't happen. So I'm almost done with The Haunting of Velkwood. Ooh, sorry for the glare. It's a library copy. <laughs> the Haunting of Velkwood by Gwendolyn Keist. And this one um, was an anticipated 2024 release. I'm not going to hold it up because it's too shiny, uh, but it's about this town that mysteriously had something happen where I don't even know how to explain it exactly, but something crazy happened. And now the town is, it's almost like they're like isolated and only certain people can come and go. And our main character, Talitha, is one of them. She was a part of this um, neighborhood and for some reason, she can kind of enter and exit this place that is typically now off limits to normal people. So it's sort of like, even though I only have 100 pages left, I still, there's still a lot of questions. Like, what happened? Why did this happen? And how did it happen? And all that. So hopefully they'll get answered in the last 100 pages. But overall, it's pretty good. Um, it's a pretty cool story, pretty unique. So. The rest of the books that I have on my TBR are books I hope to read in May that I haven't started yet. Um, the first one is one I'm going to read on my Kindle. It's for the buzzword reading challenge for May. The word is every. So I'm going to read Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone by Benjamin Stevenson. This is a book that had a lot of buzz last year and I happened to see it on a Kindle daily deal. So I bought it at a good price and yeah, now I'm going to read it. And it's about a guy who, like the title suggests, Everyone in his family, including himself, has committed murder. And you're going to find out why and who. Um, and I think the backdrop of the story is they're all attending a family reunion at a ski resort. So it's, and I've heard it's, it's dark, but it's also sort of like sarcastic, satirical, something like that. 
So I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. The next book that I have is from my book haul revisit that I just did um, in April. I went through and I did a book haul revisit from April 2022 and I picked one of my unread books from that haul. I picked Know My Name by Chanel Miller. This is a memoir. Um, Chanel Miller was uh, sexually assaulted. I can't remember what year it was. Um, it was fairly recently. And the whole book is about her experience, not only with what happened to her, but with the way that the criminal justice system worked, or in some cases didn't work, uh, <laughs> and how the media um, covered this whole event. I've heard that this is very powerful. It's very important. Um, I've heard nothing but great things about this. So when I saw it was on the book haul uh, that I hadn't read it yet, I was like, yeah, that's the one I have to do because I can't believe I haven't read this book yet. And then I have another 2024 release that um, I had put on hold at the library and it came in. So I'm going to read The Divorcees by Rowan Beard, I think is how you say it. And this one is about a woman in, I think it's 1950s. Um, I'm not sure where she lives, but she basically is married. She's going, um, and she is not happy in her marriage. And since it's 1950s, uh, getting a divorce was not, uh, such a simple process back then. And to get a divorce, um, you had to have all of these sort of, um, proofs, uh, reasons, what have you, um, except in Reno, Nevada. Uh, you did not have to have a reason necessarily to get a divorce, but you did have to be a resident. You had to, you had to be a resident of Reno for six weeks, um, in order to file for divorce. So this, our main character and many women like her <laughs> travel to Reno, uh, and live there for six weeks to become, you know, to establish residency so that they can get a divorce. And they live in this sort of commune all together and they all have the same goal. They're looking to get divorced and it's just about their experience living together for that period of time while they're waiting to divorce their husbands. So it sounds interesting and it's kind of crazy to think that not that long ago, this was the case that people had to do this to, to get a divorce. Um, so I'm, just, I'm, I'm interested in this. I think it sounds kind of, kind of fascinating actually. And then the last book I want to read, um, I don't have it. I'm probably going to get it from the library, but it's a Stephen King book because I'm trying to read my Stephen Kings. So I'm going to read Cell. And uh, this one is about, the blurb is kind of short and doesn't get super into detail, except it says something about the apocalypse beginning and it starts with a call on a cell phone or like a cell phone ringing. So interesting. And I know it kind of was written, published, when cell phones were becoming more of a thing. So I think that that is kind of important to note because nowadays, like everybody has a cell phone, but I think at the time it was written, it was sort of an up and coming uh, form of technology um, or becoming more common. So I don't know, I'm sure it'll be crazy and <laughs> also interesting, but not one that I necessarily want to own. So that's why I think I'm just gonna get it from the library. All right guys, so those are my reading plans for May. Please let me know down below what you're hoping to read in May, cause I would love to know what everybody's gonna be reading. And I hope that the month of May treats you well. Like I said, my month is probably gonna be pretty busy. Um, <laughs> so in a good way though, it's, it's good things, good things that are, are happening, but still busy nonetheless. So. Um, yeah, I hope the month treats you well and I will chat with you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.